Hi, my name is Bogdan. In this video tutorial, I want to show you a live example on how to spider web pages using my tokens. So, as an example, I will uh, take the community voice page on DNN site and I'm going to take the first post into a token. So, what I want to take is the first idea in the list. I want to take this, let's say I want to take this body or this title. So what you need to know to successfully spider a web page is uh, you have to have a basic knowledge of HTML and regular expressions. If you want to learn more about HTML, you can go, I recommend this site, W3Schools. And here you can look for an HTML tutorial. And if you are interested to learn more about regex, I recommend the MSDN page. So they actually have a quick reference here. So you can see all the character classes and what they match. So I won't go into the details of regex or HTML. I'll just show you how I use them. Okay, so let's get to work. First thing, I have to find a pattern that uniquely identifies this, this uh, title that I want to extract. So you have two options. Either you use this inspect tool, but you have to be aware because sometimes the page changes from JavaScript after being loaded and when my tokens will connect, the JavaScript will not run because when servers make a connect, they do not make it like a browser. They just get the HTML, they don't get the JavaScript, the CSS and everything else and they don't, they, they don't run any JavaScript at all. So what you see when you get it, you see the row page. So if you, what I did here, right click, view, page source. And this is the raw HTML that comes from the server and this is what my token sees. So you can use the inspector but you always have to double check in the source view that the actual elements exist there. In some cases it happens that the content is not present in the source but rather it's fetched through a um, web service, for example as JSON. And then you don't have to do this, you don't have to scrap the page. You can grab the link to the web service which would appear normally on the network tab you can grab the link and fetch the content directly as json or xml or whatever and use a different kind of parser on it not a web crawl a web spider okay so i will just take this title from here and i will search it in the source code so here i find it so what I would do, I would match this span idea title and then match the text between the starting and the closing tags. So I'll go to my token studio, I will start a new token in the scrapper namespace, DNN voice. Now I'll make this an HTTP request. And now I need to give it the URL. I'll quickly go and grab the URL from here, put it here. Okay, and that's all. That's all. I, I only want to get the page. I don't want to send any data or transmit any HTTP headers. I just want to get the data and then parse it using uh, regex. And here is where I get to specify my regex. So I'll go back to the source code and I will get Uh, this pattern and I want to match and here I will just put the regex because I know what what it could be or I can try it a few times I don't have to look it up but you can look it up in this list of examples if you if you don't have the inspiration 
and then you can see the possibilities for example if I was to use to match a word I would use this one to match any word character and what I can do here is I can uh, match a character of classes or I can match for example I can match any word and some space and uh, maybe new line or I can just match any character and put a question mark to make it eager otherwise it will be lazy and it will try to match as much as possible okay so now I need to match occurrence number one because I created a group here so this is actually a group and grab group zero would be the whole match and then group one would be the first match and then if I had another match here that would be group two and so on. so I need to match the first one okay I will save this and let's execute it and see if it actually works update platform only quest it seems it got something but it doesn't seem seem it is what I expected let's see where this comes from maybe it already changed hmm. where that where does it this come from I actually saw this one earlier but it was not on the first page so I don't know where could this be where this could come from it's also possible that um, there is a load balancer and an act I'm actually with the browser I'm seeing oh here it is the second one yeah update platform request but why didn't this find it okay so it actually got this one, this title. I'm not sure why it didn't get this one. Or maybe, yeah, I, I, I actually know. Um, I misinterpreted the meaning of the of the group. This one, match occurrence. This is not actually the group. So the group is always the first group. It always takes the first group. So you can you cannot configure that. You can if you have two groups, it will always take the the first one the one between the brackets so you cannot configure this but you can can configure which match to get so when I specified one that was the second entry on the page because it's a zero based index so I should have put zero here and now it will get it should get the first one so you see it's very quick I, I see an extra space here I would just remove it real quick basically telling him telling this regex engine not to match the spaces any amount of spaces before and after the content okay and <coughs> you see there's no more space here at the beginning and and that's it I have a title I have uh, spidered that web page and got myself a title and I could do the same to to crawl more data one thing that you have to know is if I create more tokens the request will only be made once so let's say this one I want to get the let's see what else we have here so I took this one let's say I want to take the content now so I want to match this span so I'll just create another token for the content same thing and now instead of matching the idea title I will match the idea content <coughs> and now I got 
the content and what I wanted to show you earlier is if I make this I invoke the same tokens in same request it, the, uh, the page will only be fetched once and then reused for both tokens so you don't have to worry about performances when extracting one token at a time that's one thing and the other thing is that you want to use caching for this kind of operation so you don't want to to get to make this request every time the page loads so you want to use the caching and you want to use this option here cache time so let's say I, this is um, in seconds so let's say if i want to cache it for an hour i will just put 3600 seconds here and you have different levels of caching you can cache it globally so this means it, there's on one copy of this token cached for everybody or you can cache it per portal per role per user and when you want to use this is when the token varies based on this for example if i have a token that varies varies based on user then i would make this per user so if one user connects let's say user host connects this my, the, my tokens will make the request it will get the page scrap it and then if another user logs in let's say the admin user the same will happen so it's a different cache and you can also make it per role or per portal like i said so in this case i will make it per user per uh, global because it doesn't depend on it on on anything on my site it's the same text for everybody it's the same token for everybody okay so now I click it, you see the first time it said please wait and I have to wait the number of seconds until he gets the title. But now if I click again, you see it's instant because it takes it from cache. So the token is already cached and I don't have to wait. So this is why you always want to use caching, especially when dealing with um, time consuming operation like um, making HTTP requests or maybe also doing database query if it's a query that takes longer or even so uh, database queries needs n uh, tend to add up and uh, and the slow down application so if you can use caching then use it don't be afraid to use it and that's it if you if you know regex this this will be will be a piece of cake for you uh, before i finish i want to mention one more one more thing um, in a feature release it will be possible to use a xpath parser so basically convert the html to valid xhtml and perform an uh, xpath expression on that one so the difference is that the xpath expression ah, there's actually also a tutorial here in an xpath expression you just navigate uh, the the dom like a tree So, for example, I if I was in my case and that was supported, and, and I'm just showing this you uh, to this now, so you know um, that you can do it for XML, and that you know that it will be here for HTML as well in the future. So, for example, what I would have done now is I would have matched. the first pan that had the class attribute equal to what valid idea content let's say or idea title okay so this matched matches the first node that has this class and then i can take the inner text or i can take an attribute or I can take anything so xpath tend to be cleaner than regex cleaner okay um, and you can also do it for JSON so if if like I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial if you find that the web page consumes a web service that returns either XML or JSON you don't have to do regex unless unless you know you know it better but you can do it do also xpath or json json the json parser works the same it converts the json to an xml and applies the xpath 
That's it. I hope this gives you a good start into scrapping pages with my tokens. And if you have any questions, please connect with us on our forums or via email. Thank you for your time.